Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Payday Pan Vlogs. How you guys are doing? I'm hoping that you guys are doing great. Happy doing business, families, everything is good. I like to see happiness everywhere, okay? Thanks for being a part of Payday Pan Vlogs and keep being an active part of Payday Pan Vlog. This is a good place to be. This is a neighborhood, okay? Keep being the part of it. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And whatever you can share, please do that. Welcome back. Today we're gonna to discuss something very important about the pawn business. Pawn business in future versus crypto pawn shops and cryptocurrencies. That's the topic of today's vlog. Before we can dive down into the crypto sense of pawn shops and currencies, I'm gonna offer you a simple understanding to keep in your mind so you can understand this whole vlog. And uh, this is also new for me too. What it is really a simple approach to the pawn business. Pawn shop business is the simplest business and the easiest access to the cash for the consumer. That remains the fact. There is no other business or anything else unless there is a mama somewhere that can loan you the money. But other than that, pawn shop remains the simplest and fastest access to the cash that people need. That's where it's a flagship thought and it's a flagship business in financial lending business number two thing is the fastest loan processing time period why i said that because pawn shop operations and people coming to the pawn shop that's an easy direct access to the money and the loan processing is just so simple. There's no credit check, nothing, nothing, nothing. As long as they have the valid ID and the item that can be pawned, that can just put them closer to the cash. Minus negotiation time, you know, if it's long, it can might take more time. But really it takes very short time from people coming into the store and by the time we write up the loan and they leave with the needed cash. So that makes shortest loan processing that people can appreciate. No other bank, financial institution, or any other credit union or credit card company, any lending institution there is cannot really match up with that loan processing time because Ponchap has the shortest possible loan processing time period. And people appreciate that. And this will not change. I don't care what changes, you know, are coming in the future. This will not change. This remains a fact. And that's where we definitely have the leg up in the lending business as pawn shop broker. Three, pawn shop business puts stitches on a financial bleeding need right there and then. Nobody can do that. Even hospital cannot do that. You see how the pawn business is connected to the real life and real people. And that is sensitive. Because when the need comes for money or any bill or anything like that, it can be anything because life is real. Life is real. I don't care how we look at it, how much we understand or don't understand, it's always real. So this is where pawn shop really wins, pawn shop business wins, because you are really providing that dire need that came in somebody's life and you are fulfilling that with their collateral that they brought it in and you give them the easiest access to the cash. Another thing that we have in the pawn business is most of our pawn shops, they're open longer times. So the banks close at four or five o'clock. Some of our pawn shops, they don't close till six, seven, eight o'clock. Then again, that also is a very easy access to the money. 
and people can just completely trust that and come in and fulfill their need. I gave you these three things before. Just to give a brief understanding about the essence of pawn business. Now we're gonna dive down into the futuristic aspect of the pawn business. What is there in the future for the pawn business? How the pawn business is gonna survive in the future and how many changes are being made in financial systems. There are so many different things that are coming up in the pawn business with this traditional approach is standing alone strong like a steel pole okay keep in the mind but I gave you the little brief introduction about that so we can just uh, talk about the crypto crypto uh, cryptocurrencies and crypto pawn shops that they're talking about and many other things that are coming up that can be trying to combat the pawn business or maybe com compete or maybe beat or maybe replace pawn shop business. We're gonna discuss all that in this uh, conversation. So I just wanted to give you a brief understanding before, so you can just keep that in mind and we're gonna talk about cryptocurrencies, crypto pawn shop, how does it work, what kind of module they have. We're gonna talk all this in there. I wanna start this with the good news that pawn shop business is gonna be great I see a bright future for pawn business. There is no other way to look at it. I'm certain. And if you're thinking about getting into the pawn business, this is the time to really jump in and go for it. There's a bright future for you in this business. You trust it. You better believe it. Now we're going to talk about crypto pawn shop. I recently did the research on this one and they do have some module that offers like a crypto pawn shop. So I just kind of like uh, dived into that. I wanted to understand what the heck are they talking about? What kind of pawn shop module they built? So I wanted to see that. Okay, to my surprise, I was thinking more so like rules and regulations and how you can do this and how you can do that. All I found was they want you to sell those items that you have because they cannot offer anything collateral. And then they want to pay you with the cryptocurrencies, you know, okay? At this time, people are optimistic about cryptocurrencies. They can be that. They might disagree with my conversation over here but it's okay to disagree okay it's just these are my thoughts and based on my experience and times and everything else so where pawn shop really steps in as a big brother people don't want to sell everything they own okay there are things people value there's jewelry that they value. There are cars that they don't want to sell, but they want to use them as collateral and get some money for it. Just simple as that. And once they do that pawn at the pawn shop, they're leaving with the cash. Cash is the king. Money talks and BS walks. <laughs> that remains a fact. No matter what language you are talking to, in it remains the facts money talks and bs walks so right at this minute i think you know crypto pawn shop concept uh, concept is ridiculous and it's kind of like you know very premature maybe to offer people you know we, we're going to just buy your goods and we're going to give you some crypto and then you're going to have to really deal with it and if we crashed you are out of luck. Lately, I see a lot of people, you know, and they're losing their tails in that business, losing a lot of money. What kind of business is that? And offering people like, we can buy things from you. I mean, my thing is, why would people sell things to crypto pawn shop? Why can't they sell things by themselves? It's much easier. Or they can bring 
things to our traditional pawn shops. We would love to buy them. Where there's a trade-off right there directly. Why would they do in the computer? And they still don't have the money. It does not make sense. The word of wisdom for the crypto seekers, doers, investigators, divers, blindly diving into the crypto stuff, you know. I want you to be wise with that. And all these concepts that they're coming up, don't be the first one, okay? Don't be the guinea pig. They can take your money. I mean, so far, I know a lot of people, okay? And I'm not being negative at all. I'm very optimistic about everything. But I see a lot of people, they lost a lot of money. You know, one day they were millionaires and next day they're paupers. What kind of business is that? So where is the money going to? You don't even have the touch to the money, okay? So somebody need to do a great job on that one. And this is where pawn shop business, you know, it stands alone, strong, okay? And it's helping people more than ever in these tough times, in these times of needs. More people are coming to the pawn shops and we appreciate that. We appreciate that. We are eager to help. And the help is always readily available. It takes you less time to do a pawn loan than to drink your cup of coffee. It does. So the crypto pawn shop concept, I don't think it's going far, okay? Because so many bones. One of the things online with uh, online stuff is people run with the concepts. And those concepts, they can be dead wrong. They can be dead ending into a concrete walls. They never tell you that. They never ever tell you that. So why not just kind of like think wisely? It's your money, it's your time. Why do you want to give it to somebody invisible and your money vanishes in thin air? It happens. Versus pawn shop, you know, you pawn something and you come back in 30 days and your item is nice and clear, still yours, entitled to you. And you pick it up till next time, you know, have fun. Crypto people call it crypto pawn shop, but there is no loans. One of the key factor in pawn shop is loans, pawns, loans. People like to borrow money and crypto pawn shops are not doing it. They're not doing it. I found another module and this is more stupider, maybe, or maybe more ridiculous than the other one. And this concept, you know, offers you loans, okay? Listen to this BS. They want you to deposit, in order to get a $100 loan, $100 loan, you have to deposit, deposit $150 of your hard cash and you will get a hundred dollar loan because they want you to put the money up for collateral, not your ring, not your car, not your title, not your drill, none of that, not your guitar, but your hard cash, hundred and fifty dollars to get one hundred dollar loan. My thing is, it does not take a rocket scientist scientists to understand this concept. My thing is why the heck you will need $100 by depositing $150 in the first place. If you had $150 in your hand, why would you need a $100 loan anyway? You got more money that you want to borrow. You know, $100 by depositing $150, you know. And that's on the books, you know. It's on the Google. You, you're welcome to pull it up. So I was kind of like, you know, it was boggling my mind, you know, I said, what kind of crazy concept is that? That you are putting up money as a collateral to get a hundred dollar loan. I never heard of that and I don't think it's going to work because if somebody's broke, they don't have a money and they cannot get that hundred dollars, okay, because they want you to put up $150. 
know, stop and think about that. You know, I find I found it very interesting. Like <laughs> all these concepts coming up, looks like you know people wake up, scratching their tails, and start writing these things. You know, and start developing these programs that are never tested before, and <laughs> they're gonna grab the people, grab their money, run it raggedy, because. They think people are guinea pigs, you know. Your money is a guinea pig for them, you know. We want to experiment on your money and see what happens to it. You know, that's what I see what's going on with the crypto pawn shop concept. Well, I mean, <laughs> it just does not make sense. At least at, at least at this time, okay. It might be a futuristic time, you know, where different things will happen. But again, I see it very difficult one thing will never change the physical bodies of things okay physical bodies means there's a computer screen there's a camera right there there's a light right there there's a microphone right there there's a headphone right there this will never change this will never change because things will remain in their physical bodies and pawn shop business deals with those physical bodies of those things things are present and people are not a concept people are entities they're present notice in the computer age and this age where they want to change everything changing everything is good improving is good innovation is good but replacing everything is not good just like replacing human beings if we replace all the human beings from everywhere and we got the robots working for us, then where are the humans going to go? You know, since the beginning of the time, scientists and every researcher there is, they still didn't find out how exactly we were created and where the heck we came from. You know, there's a concept after, after concept. There's a theory after theory. There's a blog after blog. There's a biology after biology. And science after science. And they still did not figure out exactly where we came from. So you think it's easy to replace pawn shop business? Heck no, no. It's not. The pawn shop business is not going anywhere. Really, replacing pawn shop business from the societies, that's not going to be possible. What I see in the futuristic, and I would like to see that happen, that'll be a great thing, you know. If they can define the cryptocurrencies in a better, touchable way, I'll be with that. Means, what if we pay people, like you bring the collateral and we paid you with a cryptocurrency in the future, you know. I'm with that, you know. I'm not anti-change, I'm anti-replacing Pancha business. Because replacing this business is not going to be the same, okay? Even though computer programmers, you know, these are the people, they've never been into a pawn shop, maybe, or they never knew what, what is the nuts and bolts of pawn shop. So how could they, they just kind of develop the software and think, you know, we're going to replace all that, you know? So, I mean, it's kind of like a very premature idea of replacing the pawn shop business. The gold is not going to be going anywhere. Silver remains the silver. Your cash money st still will be the cash money. You as a human being will be the same human being. Your bills are going to be same. Your needs are going to be same. Your gas money is going to be same. The gas is going to be same. You know, electric is going to be same even if we have electric cars, all these things are going to be the same. So, pawn shop business and crypto pawn shop business, at this time, there's no match amongst them. There's nothing. Pawn shop beats the crypto pawn shop concept out of the water and leaves them without any breath in it. The thing is, you know, the time we're living in is just so much knowledge and be selective about your knowledge be selective about your pawn business okay 
only retain and study the knowledge that you need for your business improvement. I'm talking about pawn business, pawn shop business, or any other business too, you know. I don't want to get off the topic. Since we talk about pawn shop business in this um, vlog, Petty Pawn Vlogs, then we're going to discuss that, you know. So it's time to really focus on your pawn shop business. And if you're thinking to open up a pawn shop business, please ask me the questions. And if you need any help, help is on the way. You know, make sure, make sure, you know, you made for that business. This is not a quick get rich program, okay? I've seen so many pawn brokers in this business that they can, came and gone, you know, came and gone. They're not there because it's not for them. Because they miss that main essence and main essence is the people part of this business. People that have pawn shops or people that do the loans with them and the people that have needs. This is all together like, like this, okay? So, if you're a pawn shop at this time, this is the greatest time. And I promise you that end of this year and next year, you're gonna be rocking and rolling again. And all this money and the business that we lost for the last couple of years, it's gonna come back tenfolded, okay? Don't you worry about it. Strengthen yourself, put your seat belts on, and go for a ride. In this conversation, we briefly talked about cryptocurrency, pawn shop, and pawn shop, and uh, compatibility and how they work and how, what have you you know you just cannot cover everything in one vlog so we will have more questions coming to us and we'll make some more videos till till that time please keep being the part of paid upon vlogs please like subscribe and share and ask me the questions okay please do that I want you to be active and be nice we all be, need to be nice, okay? Nice and smiles. That kind of warms my heart. Thank you so much, okay? We'll talk again, and I'll catch you later next time. Till that time, you take care of yourself.